Hello there and a very, very good evening. My name's Sean Ryan, there I am. Uh, and you are, of course, watching the Planet Cruise TV show. Do you know, I, I always look forward to the show. I've been presenting, I've been lucky to presenting the uh, show for eight years now. And every Tuesday night, we actually have some of the best deals available. Massive price reduction tonight. We've actually got six cruises to choose from. And I'm joined by a very cheeky chappy. He always takes a mick out of me. You do. It's Justin, Ella. You do. Yeah, and we have a good laugh. That's we do. The main thing. Oh, so we thought the show is on. He was saying that I'm too far away. Do you want me to move in a bit? Yeah. There you go. You can move closer because this is a bit marginal. Well, we've got a guest tonight, actually. We have. Guest. We've got a very special guest, John. Is Joseph yeah. is going to be on the couch, isn't he? Yes. Uh, well, we've got a fantastic show to start with. I mean, Planet Cruise always puts together some great deals, but we've got deals from 60 odd pounds per night. We've got all inclusive packages. We've got this fantastic river deal with Joseph. We've also got, coming up later on, a repositioning cruise over to the Caribbean. We and we're finishing off with an absolute classic over to Japan with a two-night five-star stay. Um, and the cruises start, by the way, at less than £440 tonight. So there truly is something for everybody. Now, if you've never booked with Planet Cruise before, they are a multi-award winning agency. The biggest independent in the UK, aren't they? Yeah, the, the main thing to, to really understand about Planet Cruise is they don't leave anything to guesswork. It's absolutely yeah. planned. Um, to the T. The reason being is because all of the people that work at Planet Cruise have come through the travel industry. They've actually been there, they've done that, they've bought the T-shirt. So they know that you have to have a transfer from this place to that place. And it's all included. So sometimes you'll see cheaper prices, but you won't get the same sort of product. And so, one of the things we've got to stress as well is that everything is protected. It's at all protected. Yeah. You've got your, it's all bonded as well. And you are speaking to professionals who know the industry like the back of their hand. Uh, and, and as you mentioned, things like transfers, you know, some other companies, they may you know, take those transfers out. So you've got to make your own way to places, you know, from the airport to the hotels. And all the hotels tonight, if there, mm. you know, any hotels are included in the offers, there will always be premium hotels, four or five star in general. But um, we've got a great show. So, Let's crack on, because the well, first yes. one. Well, it, you know, it's so nice to, to have Fred Olsen back with us tonight. Mm. Um, this is on board the Balmoral. That's her biggest ship in the fleet, isn't it? And yes. their latest. Yeah, largest and latest. She's actually um, just been uh, you've just been refurbished. She's an absolute stunner that you've actually got here. Now you've got just over um, 1,200 passengers on board, so it's a nice medium-sized yeah. ship. But it's where he's sailing from. You've got Southampton sailing, so you don't have to worry about your luggage. You don't have to worry about what you have to take. And she's a fantastic ship. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's take you on board and have a little look right now. Um, what I love about Fred Olsen, and I, I was with them, oh, it's a bit loud. Uh, I was with them uh, a couple of years ago with my mum. Very, very British company. They really cater for the, the British passengers. I was going to say, they? when they actually brought this ship across they, and they very refurbished her, um, it was refurbished with the British clientele in mind. You've got some fantastic open spaces up on deck. You can see the plush sort of uh, finish that you've got. You've got a fantastic pub on board. We all like to have a good old natter. Ooh, yeah. um, usually drink. in the mornings, they usually have a, a sort of like a, a get together, like a little coffee morning. So perhaps if you're traveling alone, I know we've got a great uh, single price on this one. You've also got the cafe on board. You've got all the usual modern facilities as well. But you know, this is the largest ship in Fred Olsen's fleet. It is great to have Fred Olsen featured yeah. because I know certainly from uh, you know my time at cruising, it is such a well-known brand and people that, you know, certainly if you've cruised with Fred Olsen before, then you'll probably be picking up the phones because look at that price. I can't believe I, the price. £63 per person per night. I actually think it's the lowest price we may have ever had for Fred Olsen for a seven-night cruise. Um, as Justin said, straight from Southampton. These are huge new savings that we've got for you tonight, by the way. Um, and I love the ships. They're, they're traditional real ships, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. What well, this, this actual ship was brought across in 1990 and she was refurbished, uh, sorry, she was launched in 1998 and brought across in 2008. Um, so, you know, she was uh, updated, but you keep those classic lines. It's very much like, you know, you can go and buy a new car today, but it hasn't got the feel of a vintage car. And if you love that sort of regalia of going back and looking at the classic lines, then this is going to be perfect. All the entertainment on board is fantastic, as you'd usually expect. But it's the destinations that you go into. Well... Straight from Southampton. So that does mean, of course, you can take as much luggage as you like. And also, it just means that your cruise starts straight away without any flights or anything like that. And the first day is at sea, so we get to explore the ship, don't we? I was going to say, it's always always great to find your bearings. You know, port is on the left-hand side, starboard is on the yes. right. Yes. Always remember. The, the easy way to remember that is you always port, pass port to the left. Easy for me to say. Anyway, <laughs> um, first port of call is in Spain. You're going over to La Coronia. Uh, now, this is a fantastic little, uh, little port. 
what you've got here. One thing you want to go and see is the Tower of Hercules. Um, because this is over 2,000 years old. It's a large lighthouse that dates back to the Roman times. And it's also a great place to tour. So if you want to go on uh, a tour to Santiago de Compostela, uh, then you can do It's the third largest biblical place um, after Rome and uh, Bethlehem. So uh, if you want to go and do that. But one of the great things about this cruise is you get a uh, overnight on board. So you're going to be in uh, Bilbao, uh, the actual next port of call, overnight. Fantastic you've actually got that. And of course this is a completely different feel because this is Basque country. So you get a completely different culture. Uh, of course you get all your Spanish, sta Spanish staples as, as usual but you get this sort of Basque French feel to it as well. And then you've got the Castilians of Madrid as, uh, on top of that. One thing you want to go and see is the Guggenheim Museum. Um, and because you're there overnight, I've got to say that you've got to see it at night because that is all about the architecture on there. Uh, also, the old quarter is really nice to, to wander around as well. Uh, then we're off to uh, La Rochelle. Now, this is a beautiful port. Look at the little turrets um, that you've got as you go in. And this is the gateway to the cognac region. See, it didn't take us long to get on to drink. Uh, so if you love your Hennessy's, if you love your cognacs, then this is going to be perfect. Go on a tour. Uh, the actual small um, uh, turrets that you've actually got uh, uh, is the turrets of St. Nicholas. Uh, in there. Do you know what I'm actually going to say? We actually went in this port, and I know it sounds a strange story, story to tell, it's actually raining, and do you know what? We had one of the best days. There was a great old French cafe. They did, um, oh, what's the ham and cheese toasties? What's the fancy French way of saying croque that? Croque monsieur croque, croque madame. Oh, hello. Um, <laughs> but we just sat there. We had a couple of beers, and we had that, and it was absolutely brilliant. It was such a lovely feel to it. Um, so whether it can rain or shine, go out and do a tour, or stay in port. It's a lovely place to be. I can tell you, uh, impressed with my sophistication, my sophisticated Croque palette. monsieur madame. Yeah. Uh, and then a final day at sea, of course, and back to Southampton. I uh, just want to show you this fabulous ship. So I was on board her a couple of years ago. She's absolutely gorgeous. Really friendly feel. And, um, by the way, the savings, so the huge new savings, the price has been dropped by nearly £300. So maybe the best price we've ever seen with Fred also on the show tonight at 439 And uh, We have got some outstanding single prices starting at 679 as well. So just show you what's included. Um, oh, now... Now we're talking. Uh, you can actually upgrade to all inclusive from only £10 per person per night. You know, let's be honest, I love a drink on a cruise on my holidays. So if you are thinking, oh, you know, how much your drink's going to be? Well, with Fred Olsen, you can go all inclusive starting at just £10 a night. Um, now, if you don't live near Southampton, we have a great relationship with the Me and Valley Marriage. We're going to see that a little bit later on, but you can actually stay there the night before your cruise. Park your car there and get all your port transfers from £89 per person. And you also get that overnight on board in Bilbao as well. Uh, the ID number for this one, by the way, is 94694. We do expect it to sell very quickly. And uh, by the way, the, um, the date there, 23rd of October, is half turn for some people. So if you're a teacher and know prices can be very expensive at that time of year, then we have got a brilliant price bearing in mind that date. Uh, oh! And actually, I've just heard um, we have got some breaking news from Fred Olsen, just from Planet Cruise. They've actually got a price reduction on an eight-night sailing over to the fjords. Uh, the price has come down by £150. So six, was it 6 nine, nine now um, from the 4th of September? So if you're thinking, oh, I'd love to travel with Fred Olsen, but you maybe can't make that date. We have got dates on the 4th of September around the fjords with a price reduction tonight of £150 as well. Now, I've been very lucky. I've been on 23 ocean cruises, but I've yet to experience a river cruise. And that's what uh, I'm looking at next. And here to tell us all that, an amazing river cruise. We've actually got Joseph on the sofa. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you, Sean. Well, we met, actually, we met last year at the um, Planet Cruise Show in Southampton, didn't we? Uh, yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah. yeah. And you met Justin, obviously, early today as well. Yeah, yeah of course, yeah. One thing I've never forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, Joseph, who do you work for? I work for Riviera Travel. And we've had Riviera on the show before, haven't we? We were on last week with our yeah. Dalma Dalmatian coastal cruise. Uh, yeah. And you've had a huge, huge response, actually, yeah. to your offers. Absolutely. And um, tell me about Riviera. What makes them so, so desirable, would you say? Um, well, Riviera Travel, I'll just give you a quick history yeah, for, yeah, for those please, people that don't, yeah. don't know about the company. Um, started just over 30 years ago um, doing tours down to the south of France to the French Riviera. Aha, Riviera Travel. Okay. Um, and we've grown over the years to become now, in actual fact, the largest escorted tours operator in the UK. More British people chose to go on tours with us last year than 
any other company. Really? So, so we're, that, we're pretty right? well established, yeah. um, pretty, pretty big company. Um, started doing river cruising just over seven years ago. Quite a natural step, really, because if you think about an escorted tour, you're traveling as part of a group, you're seeing somewhere new every day, um, it's very sociable, the service is good. A river cruise is very, very similar. Biggest difference, of course, is you're taking your floating hotel with you along the river throughout your journey. And, and are excursions included? Yeah, we, we include excursions. I mean, we are escorted tours specialists, so excursions are one of our things. Uh, now, there's nothing like, I think you'll agree, Justin, there's nothing like getting on board a brand new ship. And the ships on tonight's show, they're not even built yet, are they? No, are they... I, I had a sneaky peek. I had, I had one of, a picture emailed through to me last week of one of the cabins that's actually finished. And it looks absolutely stunning. Really? Yeah. Yeah, so, but the fact that they've got 17 square meters as a minimum per cabin. Seriously. That, yeah, massive. And wow. I love the fact that you've got so few passengers. So the actual passenger and crew ratio is like 40 odd crew and 160 passengers. So it's a completely different product to what we usually we, we usually and, do here. And, and am I right saying that every room has a view as well? Yeah, there's there's no such thing as an inside cabin. Every every say room cabin actually we have to call these suites oh, because these are all sweet. sweet ships so um, even the lower deck cabins are suites and they have a, a window a fixed window so you, you can always see out you've always got daylight coming in um, if you want to upgrade and go onto the middle deck you get a French balcony so, so you get all of that light yeah and also you can slide it open so you get the fresh air coming in as well wow. so it pretty much turns the whole cabin suite into into, <laughs> a, into a balcony uh, and just uh, we're gonna have a look at this but just before we do as well um, you don't charge any supplements for the single cabins on the dates we've got tonight do you correct yeah we have we have five cabins on the lower decks that we set aside for the solo traveler wow. because you know single supplements can be really quite crippling when you're traveling on your own so we sort of build it all in so it's it's a great deal because normally on a single supplement we'd pretty much double the price and then take off the transport so you can go on a brand new all sweet five star river cruise ship for one two nine nine as a solo mm. passenger yeah they are selling very quickly we've already had a I few just gonna say. anyway should we have a look yeah i think we yeah. should so here we go so let's have a look and talk us through then, Joseph, the whole okay. experience with Riviera. Okay, because obviously the new all suite ships are not yet built, the video that you're seeing is one that's on, from one of the sister ships that we also have, um, which is the Jane Austen. So, so it gives us a, a flavour, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, the, the new ships, the Thomas Hardy and the Emily Bronte that are doing the Danube on tonight's deal, um, are pretty much the same, slightly larger than the Jane Austen, but in terms of the decor, it's pretty much a cross between a floating country house hotel and a floating boutique hotel. So as you can see, it's not gaudy, it's it's quite tasteful, cosmopolitan, but um, you know, quite contemporary um, in the decor as well. Just in the look, beautiful, isn't it? Uh, do, do you know, when you when you actually think about this, you know, and five star. Yeah. This this is what you've got to remember, and I love the fact you said about escorted tours. All the tours are included, so you're actually guided around. It's not just a case of getting off the ship. And, and bearing in mind, we're talking about the uh, the suites and how much light that you get in. When you open up the windows, you're actually seeing everything. You are seeing Budapest, one of the biggest parliament buildings in the world. You are seeing the chain bridge. You are seeing these things a few meters away from you. Whereas on a cruise ship, you'd probably be a few nautical miles. But all of the usual facilities are on board. So you've got all of your spa facilities. You've got all of your, I tell you, fantastic wines as well. It always comes back to and, drink, doesn't it? And what's the, <laughs> well, I was going to get onto food, actually. Yeah. Food. What's the food like, Joseph? Food, food is, um, you know, it's fine dining. Uh, it, it really is excellent. Um, dinner every evening is, is an occasion. We have open seating for dinner, so you can sit with whoever oh, you like. Lovely. You know, you come down for dinner a little bit early, you're having a nice gin and tonic on deck, and you meet a nice couple. You can say, oh, come, come and join us, and you can sit and have, have dinner with them. Um, oh, you know, an hour later, when you realize they're the most boring couple in the world, you can say, lovely to meet you. <laughs> and, uh, and, That's and, the nice thing, though, with so many fun. people. It is really, really sociable. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, with absolutely. some cruise lines, especially when you've got different nationalities on board, you do get ten, you know, everybody sticks in their own groups. But with, with this sort of size ship and this sort of product, it, everybody gets on, everybody socialises. It's great. And, yeah. and am I right to say, although obviously all nationalities are welcome, it's predominantly British customers? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're a British company. We're, we're the only five-star British river, river cruise company. So we tailor everything towards the UK market. So there's, there's a few little quirks, like, for example, you know, we like to have a cup of tea in the morning in our room. You're sitting there. You don't want to put your makeup on and do your hair. Oh, no, You're sitting in your pants. Put the kettle on, make yourself a brew. <laughs> 
Seriously, <laughs> and on, I mean, Joe's fact that does make such a difference, yeah. doesn't it? You know, we even fly out. I won't say the brand name, but British branded tea bags, so that the customers have got a familiar brand of tea bags in their cabins, wow. so they can make themselves a cup of tea or coffee. Um, so, so well, you've got the drinks. You've got bottled water in the cabins as well, and there's free Wi-Fi on board also. Is it really free Wi-Fi? Mm. Wow. You could, keep, you could keep up with your fan mail, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, let's, uh, let's uh, just give you a little taster of uh, the gorgeous places you're going to be seeing and visiting. So it starts off with our flight, of course. Yeah, and you're, you're flying out to one of my favourite destinations, and in fact, you actually get an overnight on board here at the end of the cruise. Oh, yes. This is just your embarkation port. I've been here recently, actually. It's a lovely place to actually just embark. We'll, we'll cover that a little bit more at the end of this. Um, your, your first night, you're actually cruising down the Danube, and this is the great thing uh, that you're going to Estegom. Uh, now, this is going to be absolutely brilliant. You've got a medieval town here, um, and uh, this is actually the original capital of Hungary. Um, you're actually getting a, a tour this day that you can go out to uh, one of the uh, fantastic basilicas as well. Um, it's got one of the largest uh, altars and a wealth of gold artifacts as well. So if you like to do your uh, little bits and pieces, then you can do. Um, we go in then to uh, Slovakia. Again, another guided tour on this uh, particular day out. So you'll be taken around the port. Then we're into Dernstein and Melt. Now, of course, we're slipping into Austria now. This is where uh, Richard the Lionheart was actually imprisoned. You get a tour today to a Benedictine monastery in Melk, and then you get to go to the Abbey, where there's a gallery, the Emperor's Gallery, 200 metres long. 200 metres long. Wow. Unbelievable. Uh, then we're going into uh, Linz and Salzburg. Again, you get a guided tour here. Of course, being um, uh, one of the uh, most famous locals was Mozart, then uh, there's going to be lots of classical music um, included there and, and a real flavour. But then we're going to the real heart of decadence, of elegance, of fine wine, of music, um, and we're going to Vienna. And of course, and, this is just a beautiful, beautiful place. And, and is it in Vienna where this string quartet came on board? Did you say? Yeah, we, we had an idea a while ago because there's so much classical music in Vienna. You know, Mozart's everywhere. You've, you've got to go out and see classical music. But do you have to go out and see classical music? You could pick the wrong one. You pay too much. So we thought let's let's take all the complications away from the customers. So we actually invite a classical string quartet on board in the evening, and they play on board the ship. So after dinner, everybody comes up into the lounge. Just before they start, you can hear a pin drop. They, they oh. start the music. They play for nearly an hour, and it's just absolutely magical. It, to me, it's, it's one of the highlights of the day. You, I was going to say, you're going to have to have music here, because <laughs> Austria, I mean, yeah. apart from Mozart, you have Beethoven, Brahms, uh, Strauss, or numerous members of the Strauss family. Um, but you're finishing off your cruise in one of the most beautiful cities yeah, I've ever had the pleasure of going to. We mentioned about the uh, Hungarian Parliament building. This is it. This is Budapest. This is on the banks of the Danube. Uh, now, of course, you've got Buda and then you've got Pest. Uh, on one side is one, on the other side is the other. You've got the chain bridge, which you've just got to go across there, and then up the hill. There's a lovely monument up there. And also that, yeah. across the hill, you've got, because it's, it was originally a Roman spa town, so you've got loads and loads of spas, and you've got to go to one of the most popular is Galert Spa. I think well, Galert or Gillert, uh, the spa there. But just off of the banks here, you can wander up into one of the most cosmopolitan areas with some of the greatest restaurants, greatest cafes. Um, if you obviously because you're staying there overnight, one recommendation: go to the Four Seasons Hotel and have a drink there, and go to Pampas. Um, it's a fantastic Argentinian steak. Uh, steakhouse that also does fantastic Hungarian steak. I hate to say it, <laughs> Hungarian steak was a lot better. Really? Mm. <laughs> um, she'll remind you of this stunning ship. Say, she will only be completed. Well, we've got two ships, of course, uh, Emily Bronte and Thomas Hardy, and they will only be completed in 2017. So brand new for you to enjoy, and they do look absolutely breathtaking. Only Mapper, and I, I love your comparison, Joseph. Of, you know, boutique hotels, it, it, they've got that feel and edge, mm. haven't they? Yeah. Um, sorry, I really like the look of this. I'm just thinking <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Don't forget, this one's also deposit only as well. Oh, so yes. if you're thinking about, because bear in mind, you're not looking to October time next year, deposit only, and just to, again, rest assured um, everybody, at all protected and everything's bonded, so you are completely protected. Well, they are selling very quickly, as you can imagine. They're brand new five star, all suite ships, so all the rooms are suites. Um, we have had some sellouts already. I will let you know the, uh, the single prices have sold out in the April dates, but we have got them available in July and, of course, October. 
Um, some great, great offers. Some of those don't have any supplements and those single prices as well. But just give us a call for more details as well. Um, yeah, that looks really good. I've got to say, really good. And um, in terms of what's included, all of your shore excursions we talked about, river views in every single suite, return flights based um, on London. But actually, Joseph, you were telling me earlier that you can um, arrange flights from other airports, can't you? Yeah, we offer quite a few regionals on this one. We do Manchester, we do Scotland, we do East Midlands, we do Stansted on, on different dates. So not all dates offer all and, the airports. And do some of those ha uh, have supplements or do they all have supplements? Um, some of them don't have supplements. The, the highest supplement's only £60. Really? So, wow. You know, it could what be does that a taxi you're, cost you? Well, exactly. So again, you know, we can find you um, flights from airports closer to home. Single special, we talked about starting at just 1299. And uh, the ships will either be MS Emily Bronte or the fabulous Thomas Harder there. And as well. again, as, as well, don't forget that you can also extend the stay as well. It's, oh, yes. uh, it's a great yeah. opportunity. And I, for, again, I, I know it's, I sound obsessed with Budapest, but having been there recently, it's such a beautiful city. You've got to spend more than one day so, there. So how much would that cost then, Joseph? Well, we, what we do, we do a three night extension and it's, it's not just you're off the ship wonderful there's the hotel off you go it's all organized so you have a tour manager with you one of the Riviera travel tour managers you stay in a five-star hotel in Budapest for three nights and we include the excursions as well and it's 399 pounds wow so it's a really, it's really really good, good price we are out of time I thought that looked amazing <laughs> Thank you so much <laughs> Thank really you. did brand new ships as well anyway we'll see you soon I'm sure okay. Thank you so Cheers, much. Sure. now uh, we, we, we found out tonight from Planet Cruise from uh, our shaman at Planet Cruise, she actually told us that the, the top seller ever with Thompson has been the cruise that you're about to see. This has been the top seller ever on the TV show. Now, we'll let you know, virtually all the cabins have sold out, but we have got an amazing price tonight on suites. And we had a look at these suites. They are breathtaking. They are big, spacious, fabulous balconies. They really are in Macca. And we have got specials on suites tonight. So let's give you a little taster because this is the latest ship that Thompson have acquired, the Tui Discovery, um, and she is so impressive. I mean, just and I were, were looking at the ship. Wow, for Thompson, I mean, this is a big, big move, isn't it? Massive move. They're actually bringing two, two of these ships across from the uh, Royal Caribbean fleet. Yeah. Well, I recognise yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. And, they've, and they've, they've been Thompsonised, haven't they? Oh, they've been completely refurbished yeah. this year. So that's the great thing, that you're going in October this year, and she's going to be fresh. She's going to be brand new. Um, the shows are going to be breathtaking. Whenever there's a, a new launch, they always put every effort into the show, and there's a real excitement about it. You've got all of the different lounges as well. You've got the coffee port. I mean, as Thompson is known, their food is fantastic. Oh, hang on, but we've, we've got a picture of the Grand Suites. I was just going to say, yeah. yeah. The, remember, this is a sweet special. There's over £880 off of the brochure wow. price on some of these uh, sweets. So it's, you've just got to go on this one. Also, for those of you that fancy a cruise away from the children, um, now, whether that's kids or grandkids, this is an adult-only ship. So uh, a great opportunity for those of you to enjoy a little bit of, you know, you time. Now, the two uh, suites we've got there, we've either got the Grand Suite there and the Junior Suite is this one here. Yeah. Do you know what? That Junior I'm, Suite looks fantastic. Yeah, I think, <laughs> Yeah, I think I'll be I'm, quite happy. I were two weeks there. I think, yeah, that, 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 would, that would do me. I mean, this is an amazing opportunity. Um, and all of your tips and service charges are included as well. So it's been a top seller. They, we've, we've sold out of most of the cabins, but we have got some suites available for tonight's show. And just to give you a quick rundown of the facilities, because bear in mind, you know, she's a really light, spacious ship. You've got seven restaurants, eight bars and lounges, three themed a la carte restaurants as well, uh, two pools, uh, largest spa and, and gym for the actual fleet itself. Um, you've got the rock climbing wall, which is a first for Thompson. Um, and a nine-hole mini golf green as well. Um, wow! I'm yeah, service impressed. A really big move for Thompson, but it's yeah. the places you're yeah. going to. Oh. And this this particular itinerary is fantastic. Well, I tell you what, let's talk you through then, Justine. We, you're actually flying out to Parma, so you're going into Mallorca, and this is where you transfer. So this is your embarkation port. So you join the ship there, and the first port to call is Cartagena. Uh, Cartagena, great uh, place to go to. So you can go and see some of the Roman amphitheatres if you wish. Um, there's plenty of tapas bars here and great shopping to go to as well. Is the amphitheatre. Uh, you've also got a little bit of the beaches, but I. I'll go and have a little bit of a ramble around Cartagena. It's one of those places that you've got great cathedrals, you've got places that you can 
just have a wonder and be in awe of what's there. People tell me I ramble every day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always rambling all the time. But we're going into Gibraltar. It was my first ever port of call. First ever really? port of call. And you know, I was thinking it's all going to be different. It's all going to be Spanish. And then there was a red telephone box and a British pub. Um, but it's brilliant. It's a complete juxtaposition. You've got to go at the rock. Don't feed the monkeys because they are grumpy, just like that chap there. See, he didn't book with Panic Cruise. He's not happy. Um, you've got to go up the cable car, and there's uh, there's some great tours that you can go on. Um, some of the World War II uh, tunnels and cave complexes that were there as well. So uh, you can do all of that. Also good for duty free, so you can pick, oh, yeah. pick up uh, um, your duty free alcohol, and also good for things like jewellery and um, cameras and bits and pieces. Anyway, uh, relax a day at sea, and then we're off to the Canaries. We're going off to uh, Las Palmas in Gran Canaria. Great place. You know, this is a classic. Uh, Canary and Port. Of course, you, you are in, in the place where there's 365 days of sunshine. And plenty of beaches and quite unique because they're all black sand because it's volt uh, volcanic. And I was just thinking, I start to get really down at the yeah, end of October because all the clocks change and it's the dark nights start coming in and it's all cold and dreary. You could be getting some great, great sun here. Well, you will be, I'm sure. It's going to be brilliant. Now, the thing is, now you have got your transatlantic and this is what I absolutely love because every day the weather's going to get better. Yeah. But what, all I'd say is make the most of the ship because you've got a great ship and make the most of time. This is cruising because you can go out on the promenade deck, you can sit there, you can just enjoy not having to get up and go ashore. Enjoy cruising. And, and the great thing is, you know, there's fabulous food available virtually, well, yeah. you know, all, all the time. day long. And you're going to need to prepare yourself because I'm telling you now, look at this. Antigua. Trunk Bay, hey, would you be wearing any? That's the question. Oh, <laughs> dear me. You probably wouldn't own you, Justin. No, I'd wear my Bermuda shorts. Um, but no, look at that. I mean, it's yeah. the Caribbean at I, its best. I mean, I, I love the Caribbean. Uh, it's my favourite place to cruise. Because you cannot help but, you know, relax and chill. Beautiful beaches, great weather. And of course, Antigua as well has got 365 beaches for 365 days of the year. Um, lovely little port there. Um, anyway, um, then you're off to St. Martin. Now, St. Martin is a French and a Dutch island, and it was said that the actual island was split up by a Frenchman walking one way and a Dutchman walking the other. And when they met in the middle, that was where they were actually going to split the island. I think one of them had larger feet than the other. Um, but you've literally got this lovely little sort of split in the middle um, where it's really, really developed. And, and honestly, it, the, the, the French and Dutch side, they're so different, aren't oh, they? Oh, no, they are. They massively, are. massively. Take a look at this. This gives you some sort of an idea. In the middle there, that's where you've got the main strip. Uh, that's where you've got all of your duty-free places. Um, that's where you've got all... You can get some great, great bargains here. But this is where you can walk down the beach and you can go uh, to loads of different restaurants and it's very, very American. So you get great service and great, great quality. Where next then, Justin? Is it St. Kitts? Yeah, we're off to St. Kitts. Um, this is Port Zanti, actually. This is the shopping area that's in the port. This is where you can get all your local um, gifts and stuff to bring back. Uh, and then we're off to St. Lucia. Now, St. Lucia, a very lush island. And St. Lucia has got the pitons, which is the classic shots. Um, you can see there, um, the actual beer, the local beer is named after the pitons. Um, you can also go to Marigo Bay as well, there's a lovely resort on the other side called Discovery uh, where they've actually got a uh, champagne bar called the Giant, Giant Pink Sea Snail after Dr. Doolittle because the original Dr. Lo Doolittle was filmed there. Um, go to the north of the island because you've got Pigeon Point and you've got Spinnakers as well which is really nice. Uh, and then all, all good things must come to an end but uh, you finish up in Barbados. Well, yeah, not no. a bad place to finish. Absolutely. But just think, you know, you've got a great ship. You can see here um, the actual Vista Lounge around the top um, and the rock climber wall is just around the back of there. So uh, you'll probably recognise her. You may have been in port with her uh, before, but great facilities. Cool. I'm just going to ask my lovely director, Paul, I don't know if it's possible to see the pictures of the suites again. I Ooh, don't know. Yeah. Oh, he can what, manage the junior? Should we, should, yeah. should we have a look at the junior? And is it, honestly, yeah, on, I think the junior, you know when you, you go, oh, let's go for a grand suite, you go, is that the grand suite? No, that's the junior suite. Um, and that looks fantastic, doesn't it? Well, that's what you can have tonight. It is a sweet special on this one. Um, been our top selling cruise. These are the final cabins we've got available. And we have got Justin's Grand Suite, of course, as well. So let's just remind you what's included. It's a Grand. Is that Grand. I'm, I'm very northern out of Grand. No, I'm yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> The Grand Suite there. Grand. Um, I'm too, oh, yeah. uh, exclusive prices, all of your tips and service charges are included as well. As we said, we have got a sweet special. And uh, just to give you an idea about how much you're saving, £880 off the brochure price on that. Return flights, they are based 
uh, on London Gatwick. Generally speaking, we can always find you flights from other airports. I think we've got Birmingham available for just supplements, uh, Manchester for supplements as well. And it is adult only as well, 50 nights on board. Uh, Thompson's newest ship to their fleet, the TUI Discovery. I love the look of that one, really do. It's great, isn't it? Yeah. Charlie, we've still got loads more to come. Apart from the next cruise, we've still got that cruise that goes to Japan with a two-night, five-star stay. Yes, and that's with Celebrity, of course. Yes, yes. one of my favourite cruise lines. It's coming up at the uh, end of the show. But with... Uh, Oh, yeah, we've got an upgrade from an inside to a balcony next with MSC. 11 nights, you're going to visit Spain, uh, Morocco and the Canary Islands, and, of course, a little bit of Italy as well. But let's give you a little taster of MSC, first of all. Do you know The ships are absolutely fantastic, and I'm telling you now, um, with these particular ships, they are very modern, very classy, the cuisine is very Mediterranean. So if you love going to Italian restaurants, then you're going to love it. Look at the near infinity pools. You've got great things like 4D cinemas. You've got F1 simulators on some of the ships as well. And, uh, well, ice cream restaurants, you've got to have a little bit of gelato, haven't you? Try, try oh. each one to find one you like. Um, but just fantastic that you've got all of this in a package going to where you're going. And, and when you look at this price, this, bear in mind it is 11 nights, uh, including your flights, you can have a balcony tonight, your own private balcony, starting at 799. Do you know, every, every, um, you know everyone that I talk to that's, that's cruised the embassy always talks about how beautiful the ships are. They're, yeah. they're, they're quite spectacular. Anyway, we're starting off with a flight from London. Yeah, out to Genoa. This is your embarkation port. In fact, it's actually the home of MSC. Uh, but your first port of call is in Barcelona. Fantastic place. Um, if you love your football, um, then you want to go to the new camp. But if you love your culture, then go to Sagrada Familia. It's the cathedral that's never been finished. They'll get around to it one day. Um, but you want to go up La Ramblas. This is the, the sort of bottom end of town. Um, if you actually wa wander around uh, this big sort of generatory roundabout, um, there's a lovely area where you've got the, uh, the Arts Hotel and the W as well. Well worth going down there, but of course it's the Gaudi buildings that you want to go and see. Some of the beaches, in fact, this is the actual uh, Barcelona you beach. You sometimes forget that this the beaches is, are lovely. Yeah, I was going to say, because down in the background there, that's the Hotel Arts, and behind you is the W. This beach, it's like uh, Venice Beach. You've got so many people. Everybody's on their bikes. Everybody's walking the dogs. It's a fantastic place to be. Um, but then we move on. We've got a relaxing day at sea before we go into Casablanca. Say that again. Play that again. Uh, no, this is, this is the place. It does come to mind, but you've got some fantastic sights to see. Um, one of the things is embrace the culture. There's some beautiful mosques that you can go to. Um, so go and see these places, fantastic architecture, fantastic culture, and of course the, uh, the Marche Central as well, um, which is amazing. You've just got to go there and have a little bit of a barter um, with uh, the locals. Uh, then we've got a relaxing day at sea, and then we're off to the Canaries, we're off to Tenerife, and, Santa Cruz. And I was going to say, what I love about this, bear in mind the lead date is the end of January, a really miserable time in the UK, we're all so depressed. We Speak could... yourself. Oh, I am, I hate January. <laughs> no, it, it is, it is yeah. a winter sun, guaranteed yeah. as well. You know, imagine this at the beginning of February. Yeah, and, and of course, because you've got so much to see and do, there's great wildlife, there's great beaches there as well. There's one of the volcanic beaches that we were uh, talking about earlier on. Great shopping as well in Santa Cruz, so uh, definitely lots to do. Then we're off to Madeira. This is one of my favourite ports, uh, ports, Funchal. Same here. Um, really, really big. Oh, this is a lovely... This is a lovely aerial shot, actually. This is probably taken from the balloon. There's a tether balloon there that you can go up and down in. It's like a helium balloon. Go up the um, cable car. You can uh, come down. This is uh, Winston Churchill's favourite uh, island. Definitely, you've got to go there. And in fact, there's some great it's, hotels, some of which he stayed in. And, and I love, um, I you know, I love my gardens and things. And they, they plan. Well, you've got the um, bird, of, bird of the paradise. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's lovely. And all the Bougainvillea there. And yeah. So you. <laughs> yeah. Just you. Just to What's it going on about? Uh, Coloured weeds. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, we're being told to move on to Malaga. We are. And, uh, well, we touched on Malaga earlier on. It's, it's a fantastic... This is, this is the, the real essence. This is, this is Spain bottled. Um, if you love your tapas, go out and have lunch. You've got plenty of forts to go and see as well. Beautiful architecture. And, uh, go, yeah, definitely go to uh, the bullfighting ring as well to see the culture. Whether you, you agree, I, I, I'm an animal lover myself, but you've got to go and see it because it's like the Colosseum. It's sort of, you know, just a, a wonderful... 
But I think yeah. what it's so wonderful about cruising and all these different ports, there is a lot of choice and you do the things well, you, you want to do. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Try yeah. new things. And exactly. Then we've got a relaxing day at sea and then wait for it. You're going to need this day at sea because we're into Rome. We've got the Trevi Fountain, we've got the Colosseum, we've got the Spanish Steps. Um, you've uh, got the, of course, Vatican City as well. So plenty to go and see and do. And the Trevi Fountain as well, you've got to throw a coin in there. It's supposedly good luck, but it does actually contribute to charity because they take all of the, the money out of there and donate it to charity. There you go. Just looking at the Colosseum there, I mean, and if you've never seen the Colosseum, just outstand the size of this is you can do oh. italy in uh, not italy you can do rome in a day yeah you, you can. can do rome in a day and bear in mind of course you, you're in civicevecchia so if you don't actually go into rome because there'll be a, a train journey or a bus ride then you can stay in the town the town is actually really good for shopping well in terms of price look at this uh, you're going to get a free upgrade to a balcony if you go for the 19th of january the price is just 849 um the 30th of January is just 799. We are expecting very busy lines for this one. So just to remind you, you are getting a free upgrade tonight. And these are exclusive price reductions. And you've got return flights based uh, from London. But as we always say, you know, just, just ask our call centre if you need different flights. We'll do our very best to accommodate those as well. well and again, to mention and remind everybody that's watching tonight, overseas transfers as well. Uh, there's no hidden costs with Planet Cruise. Yeah, very Everything true. is planned from when you leave, uh, you know, the, the UK to your cruise destination and back again. There's no hidden um, costs. And we should say great customer feedback as well. You know, every week we look yep. at the FIFA rating and it goes between, I'd say on average, 96, even up to about 99%, wasn't it? Exactly. Yeah. And well, that's why, because we're, we're top agent with so many of these cruise lines, so we get great deals. But it's because we look after the customers. And you do, you know, you want your holidays to be perfect, don't you? Every aspect of it. Anyway, we've got our next cruise for you and it's with Norwegian Cruise Line on board a ship that I absolutely love actually Norwegian Jade I was on her a few years ago um, but some other chappies that have been on board recently are Fabulous Keith and Glenn so here they are to tell you more if your idea of a cruise is dim lighting string quartets tuxedos and ballroom dancing then prepare to be challenged because this cruise line is so laid back it's almost horizontal Welcome to the most fun and relaxed cruise experience you're ever likely to encounter, where the entertainment never stops and the excitement just keeps on building. Welcome to Freestyle Cruising. Welcome to Norwegian Cruise Line. There's more restaurants than days of the week and you can enjoy food from all over the world and dine and dress as you please. From trendy French bistros to steakhouses and sushi bars, Norwegian Cruise Line offers tons of choice. If you're a vegan, vegetarian, high carb, low carb, or gluten free, it's all covered. Remember, this is freestyle cruising, so wherever your mood and whatever the occasion, there'll be a bar that fits the bill with sports bars and whiskey bars, martini bars and champagne bars, our fresco bars and wine bars, bars with music and bars with sport, even ice bars. One thing's for sure, you definitely won't go thirsty. Imagine playing Nintendo Wii on a two story high screen or challenging a friend on the all new Aqua Racer. Visualise eating world-class cuisine while acrobats tumble down on silks around your table. Or simply enjoying a beer as comedians make you smile at dedicated comedy clubs. Picture yourself singing along as dueling pianos compete or settling into your own seat for one of the Tony award-winning shows. Whether you're a single cruiser, holidaying with all the family or planning a group cruise, you'll find something perfect for you. Norwegian Cruise Line offers one of the widest selections of accommodation in the industry. There are exclusive suites where you have your own private sun deck along with brilliant interjoining family staterooms that are cleverly located near all the kids' facilities. And balcony staterooms where you wake up to a different view every morning. But it's in the studio staterooms where Norwegian are head and shoulders above the competition. A private complex dedicated to solo cruisers with most importantly, no single supplement which again is really good for solo passengers, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's been a great really show good. tonight for Hasn't solo it? passengers, yeah. Um, now, I, I love the fjords. I've actually cruised on them twice. They're beautiful, aren't they? Yeah, it's breathtaking. It's oh, so fresh it's... and it's completely different. One of the nice things is, as well, travelling to Norway, it can be quite expensive if you're doing it on a land holiday, Very, but on yeah. a cruise ship, you've got everything on board your ship. You just go on a shore, um, so it's perfect. By the way, you do get on this one an all-inclusive drinks package as well, don't uh, you? Ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That just come, you know, <laughs> for Justin, that saves him a fortune. And so, also, <laughs> you can upgrade from an inside to an outside cabin for just £16 per night per person. And then you also get free Wi-Fi included. So it's definitely worth doing that, isn't it? Definitely. definitely.
because um, you really want to see the fjords from your from your stateroom. So uh, we've mentioned you're obviously cruising out from Southampton. You've got a day at sea, and we're making our way over to Stavanger. Yeah, this is well the cradle of the Vikings. This is just a beautiful location you've got these lovely wooden buildings that are so colorful on the shoreline and when you sail in can i recommend you do get up early because you you, you it's actually quite you know you think really we're going to go through there it's amazing some of these fjords that you go into will go nine miles inland um so it's just it's beautiful absolutely breathtaking then we're off to uh, scolden now this is actually where you've got one of the uh, fantastic stave churches uh, and you'll see, see this here, it's, it, this is um, definitely um, uh, one of the things to go and see. You know, it's unique to this area. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site and uh, you know, dates back to the 12th and 13th century. So and it really gives you that sort of Viking and Romanesque feel. I tell you, it is just such a fascinating place. And to think in the wintertime, they get, you know, just literally a couple of hours of daylight. And... Well, yeah, bear in mind, all of these ports in the wintertime, they're completely shut. Yeah. The, you know, everybody retreats back into the cities. It's only the, only the, uh, the summer that you're actually going to be there. So, um, but what you've got here is Ullesdon. Uh Now, this is a, a city port. And, in fact, a lot of it is actually quite new. Um, they had a massive fire here. About probably 800 buildings were actually destroyed. So it was actually rebuilt in 1904. So a lot of the architecture is actually quite modern and quite new. There's uh, a local delicacy here, actually, which is dried cod uh, called kipflisk. Um, so if you fancy trying some of that, then, you know, when in Rome, you've got to try <laughs> these things. I don't know, actually, just I'll try it, yeah. <laughs> try anything once. Uh, now this is off to our next port of call, which is Garanga Fjord. Now this is where you see the Seven Sisters, the Bridal Veil Falls. Uh, in fact, you can see some of the, uh, the falls just down the side. And and, you, and, and that image there, I mean, you really get an yeah. idea of how, even though cruise ships are large, how tiny they are in these vast fjords. Well, here's the Seven Sisters. Oh. You, you'll actually cruise past this. And again, um, you've got to get out on deck. There's usually a, a commentary from the captain or uh, a local guide. Um, and this, this is actually, this is nine miles inland. Nine miles inland on a cruise ship. And it's absolutely breathtaking. Then we're off to Bergen. Now, this is one of my favorite places. Uh, this is actually the home of Edvard Grieg. We were talking about classical music earlier on. So uh, if you love your classical music, this is actually the aerial view of Bergen from uh, the top of the mountain. You can get a cable car up there. Yeah, or you've got I the do. vernicular railway as well. Um, now, every week they have a fantastic fish market there. So uh, around the, uh, sort of the, the harbour side, there are these beautiful, colourful buildings. And in fact, um, the next one that you, uh, the next picture that you'll see, you'll see the vernicular, vernicular railway um, going up to the top there. It's absolutely stunning. It, it is, honestly, it's a, it's a, a cruise that I'd love you to try tonight. Um, an amazing offer. It's very rare, actually, to, to, to get... Uh, the Norwegian Jade in this part of the world. So it's uh, quite a first actually for us tonight. And as Justin said, if you upgrade to an outside cabin for just 979, you will get the free Wi-Fi. And all the cabins will have a all-inclusive drinks package tonight as well. Um, now, uh, with a lot of our cruises from Southampton, um, we often give you the option of staying at the Marriott, the Mean Valley Marriott in Southampton. We really have a great relationship with the team there. And it just makes everything easy. You get to stay there for the night before you cruise. You get to park there for free and you get your port transfers as well. So here is my younger twin brother to tell you more. Planet Cruise have a great partnership with the Marriott Mean Valley Four Star Hotel here in Southampton. Bed, breakfast, free car parking, transfers to and from the port are actually all included. Now I arrived earlier yesterday, I had someone take care of my bags, I went for a swim, I had the most amazing night's sleep and I've just finished off a hearty breakfast. And now with my car safely parked, I'm about to take the chauffeur driven shuttle to Southampton Port which is a mere 12 miles away. And then when my cruise is over, they'll drop me off here and I can drive safely home. Uh, and don't forget, uh, you are getting free drinks on this cruise tonight. So that's all of your spirits and cocktails, wine by the glass, uh, bottled of draft beers and fountain sodas. That's really good to get that, actually. So um, quick reminder, yes, you will get the all inclusive drinks package. Only a deposit needed tonight as well. So if you want to secure your place on board, just uh, a deposit tonight. As we've just seen there, you can add on an extra uh, night at the Mean Valley Marriott before your cruise from only £89 per person. That includes parking and port transfers. And this is a brand new itinerary. As I mentioned, it's the first time we've had the Norwegian Jade 
on this itinerary for 2017. Really like that one, I've got to say. And don't forget, everything is just a phone call away tonight to 08 -2602 and the uh, call centre open till 10.30 tonight. But we always like to, to finish with a biggie, and this is fantastic. It's with Celebrity Cruises, five-star modern luxury at its very best, a multi-award winning company, and this is on board the Celebrity Millennium. And we're going to talk through this in more detail. It's a fantastic, it's particularly at this price, but here's Keith to give you a little taster. With exceptional levels of service, one crew member for every two guests, well designed and easy to navigate ships, and a decor that is both sophisticated and contemporary, this is a cruise line which offers a real sense of modern luxury. Life on board a celebrity cruise ship is an opportunity for you to enjoy your cruise just how you like it. From relaxing by the pool with a good book to a whole host of exhilarating and unique experiences, the choice literally is yours. There's cooking competitions, mixology classes, dance and language classes, informative lectures and behind the scenes access to the inner workings of a modern day cruise ship. And that is just the tip of the iceberg. You can top up your tan while enjoying a margarita by the pool or use your sea pass card and help yourself to another glass of vino in the award winning Cellar Masters. But my absolute favourite has to be here, it's the world's first ever world-class bar. We're tasting the work of these wonderful mixologists will introduce you to the latest trends in cocktail creation. It will literally knock your socks off. Celebrity cruises have always pushed the boat out when it comes to dining. Not just in the sheer choice, but also the quality and taste of the food they offer. You can experience savour menus pairing classic and contemporary selections with casual alfresco dining to this stunning main dining room with the amazing wine tower that holds nearly 3,000 bottles of wine. When the sun sets, celebrity cruises ships come alive with a dazzling selection of bars, lounges and nightclubs. Keep an eye out though for the interactive theme parties. You might even find dancers in these exquisite costumes suddenly appear out of nowhere to entertain you. There's West End style theatre shows, there's circus shows, comedy, magic, music. On a celebrity cruise, luxury comes as standard. There are six different varieties to choose from, and over 85% have a private balcony. From comfortable inside staterooms to these gorgeous suites, which feature floor to ceiling windows, panoramic balconies, and your very own private butler. Trust me, once you've unpacked, you won't ever want to leave. Well, I was actually on board the Millennium last year, but she's had some changes, hasn't she? Yeah, just a little bit. She's been completely revitalised for 2016. So you've got uh, the rooftop terrace experience. You've got the um, uh, fantastic outdoor cinema as well. Wow. Um, you've got sushi restaurant, Sushi on Five. There's also a themed restaurant uh, to one of the classic cruise uh, ships uh, uh, of history, the RMS Olympic restaurant, um, and Aqua Spa Cafe as well. These are all updates. Wow, so she's going to be amazing, but wait till you see the fabulous places she'll be visiting. This is really exciting, actually. So we fly from London Heathrow over to Shanghai, and we've actually arranged, Planet Cruise have arranged, a fabulous stay for two nights in a five-star hand-picked hotel with yeah. some tours. I was going to say, it doesn't actually stop there, because apart from your two nights in that five-star hotel, you're also getting a tour to the Yew Garden. Now, this is actually a private garden for one of the, uh, the biggest families of the Ming Dynasty. Um, absolutely stunning. It was a private garden. It's one of the largest and the most prestigious of its era. Um, you've got these beautiful bridges. You know, it is a classic um, uh, Japanese garden that you'd expect to, to see um, in this part of the world. Sorry, uh, Chinese garden. Um, then you've also got the Bund tour as well. Now the Bund is like a museum of architecture because the 150 buildings that you've got down uh, on the actual Bund is, uh, is absolutely breathtaking. You can go through different times. Um, but then we're going to be going to uh, a great journey on, we are. on board a ship. So you embark your track again, you know, all of your transfers are included with Planet Cruise. You're transferred to the gorgeous, revitalised Celebrity Millennium for your cruise. And the first days at sea, which is always nice, you get to explore this beautiful ship. And uh, I'll let uh, Justin do the pronunciations for Japan. So where's first? Sakaminato. Ah, well, yeah. Here's a few. Um, this is actually a fan. This is go goes back to the Bronze uh, Age. And in fact, this is actually sort of a clash of cultures because what you've got here is you've got these wonderful uh, statues. They look really bizarre. They look like something out of Tim Burton's world. Like this one. There's over a hundred of these. Now, one of the uh, the actual um, 
one of the big things that's popular uh, in this area is manga cartoons. And the manga cartoons, these are actually embodied in a hundred statues. So you can go around. If you get playing Pokemon on your phone, actually go and see the real thing. Uh, yeah. You can go around and see these wonderful things. Also, fantastic food here. Um, this is all about your seafood. This is all about bluefin tuna uh, and priced crab as well. So uh, definitely one to go and see. Uh, then we're going to go to Kanazawa um, and then Missouri in Japan. Then we've got a nice relaxing day at sea before going into Shanghai. Now... Shanghai, again, one of the best places to go. You've got to go out and see some of the, uh, the local um, buildings. Fantastic pagodas there. But we're going to Kagoshima next. Now, Kagoshima, you've got the city that really lies on this peninsula. You've got mountains, geothermal, springs and geysers. There's actually a, a, a hot sand bath here that you can go and get rubbed and scrubbed down um, and then have a nice soak in one of the thermal spas. Ooh, that's absolutely lovely. fantastic. Um, then you're going to Jeju Island in South Korea. Um, now this is actually where all the, uh, the newlyweds go and um, it's, it's a complete island that's made of volcanic mass. Absolutely stunning and it's got this real sense of romance there so an absolutely beautiful place to go. Uh, then uh, back to Shanghai where you disembark, you've got all your transfers back uh, to the airport and your flight, of course, over to London. I mean, a beautiful itinerary. I'll just give you a, a little taster there. And don't forget, five-star modern luxury at its very, very best with a newly revitalised celebrity millennium. Uh, many of you know I've cruised with celebrity several times. Uh, we'll be again next year. And their standards are incredible. And just to uh, show you, there's the interior stateroom. I am going to recommend on this occasion upgrading to either an ocean view or even a balcony because if you upgrade you will actually get a free classics drinks package as well balconies are lovely you've got those um, starting at 1699 bearing in mind you will get the classic drinks package that is worth every single penny um, amazing value the drinks package um, it's one i know very well i've had this drinks package uh, five or six times now, and it's all of your specialty coffees. You get beautiful coffees on board if you love your lattes, your cappuccinos, all of your uh, bottled waters, your non-alcoholic cocktails, selected beers, gorgeous uh, wines, and actually some really well-branded spirits as well. Um, and that's in all of your, uh, say, at bars and restaurants. And if you want to upgrade to that, I talked about balconies and ocean views, but we've got some amazing prices on our concierge uh, class as well. And that gives you an idea. You get things like your priority check-in, welcome gifts. Um, and if you did want to upgrade to Aqua, then you will get, of course, priority access um, or exclusive access, I should say, to the Blue Speciality Restaurant. I'm going to be doing that next year. I'm really looking forward to it. And complimentary access to the Persian Garden as well. So there's just some of the highlights of uh, upgrading to Aqua Class there as well. But in terms of price, well, the price starts at 1249, but if you upgrade to an Ocean View above, you will get a free classic drinks package. Flights based on London. And um, with Planet Cruise, if ever there are hotel stays, we always try and match them to the caliber of your cruise. So the cruise is five star, hence you will be staying in a five star hotel in Shanghai as well. And you do, of course, get those wonderful tours. Um, this has been a great show as ever. It's hard to choose tonight, isn't it? I keep just thinking about taking a few years out and just doing them all. It'd be lovely, think? wouldn't it? Yeah, wouldn't, wouldn't it? But anyway, <laughs> let's, uh, let's uh, just recap so you can help uh, make your minds up tonight. We start off, it was so nice to have Fred Olsen back on the show. 439, potentially the best price we've ever seen for Fred Olsen, actually. And uh, look at the all-inclusive upgrade there. Definitely do that. £10 per person per night. As I mentioned, if you wanted to stay in the Mian Valley Marriott before your cruise, you can do that from just £89 per person. That includes parking and port transfers. The cruise ID number for this one just helps it, uh, you when you book. 94694. Now, we've just uh, moved on. And here it is. Uh, we had Joseph on the uh, on the couch with our seven night river cruise. With of course um, so many fantastic extras included with Riviera. Uh, all of your shore excursions, excursions rather river views from every suite. Every room is a suite, by the way. Return flights based on London. Uh, we could find you other flights from other airports. Just ask our call centre. And some brilliant single specials. We don't have many of those, so please don't need a delay on that one. They start from only 1299. And you will be on board brand new ships, either the MS Emily Bronte or the MS Thomas Hardy. The ID number for this one is 114250. Amazing price on that one for five-star luxury. 
Then our best-selling TV crews on the show, Thompson. Now, we have got a sweet special, and it is very sweet tonight. You are saving £880 off the brochure press. We saw those suites. They're big. They're luxurious. They've got fantastic balconies. I mean, it's a dream, dream cruise, this one. Um, all your tips and service charges are included. Uh, we've got return flights based on London Gatwick. Again, ask about other flights potentially available. And it's an uh, adult Sony cruise as well. Um, do ask. Uh, I, I know there are some um, drinks packages available as well. Just ask the call centre for prices and details on those. The ID number is 110087. I thought it was really good. Bear in mind, you away 16 nights. Then we had a fantastic chance of getting some great, great winter sun with MSC. Beautiful, decadent, glamour ships. 11 nights, Spain, Morocco and the Canary Isles and a little taste of Italy there. Now, tonight on the show, a free upgrade from inside to balcony. We've got exclusive price reductions and, of course, that price for balcony starts at less than £800. ID number 110261. I think that's really good, don't you, for a, a balcony. Then we moved on to Norwegian Cruise Lines. Love the ship, actually. Norwegian Jade 849. And that includes a free all-inclusive drinks package and only a deposit needed tonight. And if you go for uh, an outside, you'll get free Wi-Fi as well. ID number 123945. And then last but by no means least, we've just seen it absolutely beautiful cruise with celebrity on board the celebrity millennium my advice i would honestly upgrade to a balcony for 1699 and then you get the free drinks package or even the um the ocean view as well and don't forget the id number for that one one two four nine two nine all of the details of course are on the planet cruise website and we should say if you haven't seen anything you like tonight we can find you any cruise with any company and we can make Deals bespoke to you as well. Now, next week, we're going to be joined by Ruth from Celebrity, aren't we? Yeah. So she's going to be joining us. Justin, thank you so much. Always a pleasure. Great show, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I always learned quite a lot with you as well. <laughs> I do. All the little tips as well. Justin, we'll be back next week as well. Thank you for watching Planet Cruise here on, of course, I Do Will See